As the name implies, winter growing tuber sundews grow in the winter. They like to grow in the cool months of the year when the photo periods are short. And again, the temperatures are cool. This is Rupicola I have here. But I wanted to show you because now that it's March, our temperatures are starting to heat up and our photo periods are lengthening. So we're noticing some of these are starting to go dormant. And I know yours at home might be too. And I thought it would be helpful if we took a look at what that process looks like. Here's our beautiful little Rupicola plant. And if you look over here, you can see here's one that's just starting to go dormant. And that means that these leaves here are starting to die back. There's nothing wrong with this plant. It's totally healthy. It's just that the longer photo periods and the higher temperatures are triggering it to go into its uh, summer dormancy. And here's another one that has fully gone dormant. You can see right here, here's the old leaves. There's nothing wrong. That's just the timing of this plant. Different species are gonna go dormant at different times, and they're also gonna do it a little bit depending on the conditions they're in. So now that I'm starting to see some of the dormancy beginning, what I'm gonna do is slowly start to dry out these plants. In nature, they wouldn't just be immediately dried out, right? So we're gonna do this slowly. We're gonna reduce the watering, let it dry out naturally, and then we're gonna go ahead and store it somewhere cool and dry and sprinkle it overhead every few weeks, just with a little bit of water throughout the summer until September when we'll put it in water and it'll begin to grow again.